guys, I'm Ryan Griffin, and you're in my kitchen here in Southern California, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do one of my favorite mahi-mahi sliders. It's a crispy fried mahi sandwich on a King's Hawaiian sweet roll. It comes out really nice, and it's a great uh, lunch for the boat, and it makes great appetizers, and it's one of my favorites, and you can't go wrong. Follow me as we go. First, we're gonna start out by making a spicy mayo. I usually make any sauce for a recipe first, that way it gives it time to get set up and combine the flavors in the fridge. I do this a bit by eyeball. Um, I'm sure that we could work a recipe out where it would make sense for somebody to follow along, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm gonna use about a cup of mayonnaise to start here. And then we'll go right in after that with sriracha. And you can use quite a bit. Don't be shy with the sriracha. I would say it's probably, if you have a cup of mayonnaise, it's a quarter cup of sriracha. We'll do just a little splash of soy sauce in there, a little splash of mirin, which is uh, basically rice seasoning, and you just need a little bit of that. Take the juice from one half of a lemon. Get a nice citrus. You want the acidity to balance out the sweet from the uh, mirin and then a nice liberal, bowl, liberal amount of sesame oil. And then once you've got these in here, I just thoroughly mix. It's best with a whisk. Don't use a fork, don't use a spoon. You need to have a whisk in order to combine everything. And I look at the sauce as it mixes together and I can tell right away whether or not I wanna add more sriracha or if I wanna add more mayonnaise. And I, I'm looking for two things, one, the color, and then two, the thickness of the sauce. I want, I want it to be thick enough where it'll stay on a slider bun, but not runny enough to where it's just kind of, you know, running out of the edges of the bun. So right there, we've got it almost where I want it, but I'd like it a little bit more red. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more sriracha. I like a little bit of that spice in there. Let's mix that up a little bit more. That's looking better. The last ingredient I'll put in is sweet chili sauce, May Ploy. This is at any grocery store, and you don't need much of this, but just a little bit. And this adds just a real nice element of sweet, and it's got some chili flakes in it, so there's some texture. It adds a lot of depth to the sauce. This is a really simple spicy mayo, and you can use any rendition of these ingredients and achieve basically the same thing. However, However you like to make spicy mayo is great, but this is, this is my go-to right here. So I usually get it once I got the color where I want it and it's incorporated. You just try it, make sure you got it where you want it. And that's good. Okay, so we got a couple of really nice center cut shoulder pieces of the filet from these Mai Mai that we caught yesterday. And I'll just further trim the bloodline out of these just a little bit. I'm just gonna take off, just so most of that red is out of the equation there. This one looks pretty good. We might be able to just trim off just a little bit of this guy right there. I like to get rid of all that. It has kind of a bitter flavor. Doesn't really do much for me. So I try to trim off as much of that red as we can, get rid of anything like this that you want to see. I just really clean up the piece of filet. And then what you want to do is, uh, since I'm using King's Hawaiian rolls, we're going to make pretty small pieces out of these, just kind of square them off. And we'll do one, two, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get three there. And then we'll do there like that. Perfect. That'll make six nice sliders. Somebody's gonna get a little bigger piece than another. What I'll do at this point is uh, get my cast iron going. Um, and I use peanut oil. I wanna do a pretty liberal amount of peanut oil. Nice deep cast iron. Do a fair amount of peanut oil, probably most of the bottle if you end up with a bottle like that size. And what I want to do here is just get this preheating so I get this on like a medium heat just to, just to give my oil plenty of time to get hot. That way, uh, you know, you're saving time when you're, uh, when you're ready to put the fish in, your oil's ready to go and get that on a medium heat just like that and that's perfect. Okay, when I uh, take my mahi mahi and I'm gonna fry it, what I like to do first is I take rice flour. You can buy this anywhere. Uh, most uh, Asian markets sell it. It's really easy to find. It's a really fine consistency, very powdery, but it coats on the fish just like this very well. But the first thing I do is season this rice flour. You can use any seasoning you like, salt, pepper, garlic, doesn't really matter. We're gonna use some Cajun seasoning today. And we're just gonna do maybe a teaspoon 
in this uh, small amount of rice flour, which is probably about a cup's worth. And so just incorporate that, get it all mixed in there nice. First thing you wanna do is get your piece of fish in there and get all the sides coated. So when you're done, it ends up looking like this. And you don't need to do anything to the fish, it's just the raw fish. It's got enough moisture on the uh, outside of it to get a nice coating of that rice flour, just like that. And we're gonna coat each individual piece like that with this rice seasoned rice flour. Super, how's that? And just take your time, make sure you get all the edges so you get a nice even fried crust around all your pieces. What we'll do next is get our egg wash ready. We're gonna take three eggs. And you just wanna combine those three eggs. Once you've got your eggs combined, you can get your panko ready. So this is just, uh, just your everyday panko, you can buy at any grocery store, nothing special about it, right out of the box, right into there. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take each piece of fish, and I like to use a fork for this, otherwise your hands get real dirty, and I'll take each piece of fish like that, and we're gonna wanna just go right into the egg wash and just literally you know, flip your piece around, get it completely coated in the egg wash, let it drip off there. Take your time with this. Don't rush this process. The uh, more time you spend, uh, you know, making sure everything gets evenly coated, the better piece of a uh, fried fish you're gonna get when it's all said and done. Make sure you coat all sides, kind of get that panko up and around all the edges on there. Kind of press it in. Same thing, give it a good shake. That piece is ready to go in the fryer right there. Same thing on all these. We're gonna do all six pieces just like that. Okay, we'll take each piece real carefully. You just wanna set them right on the edges of the pan so you give yourself plenty of room as you go around laying them in. Again, if you're not used to cooking any fish like this in oil, it's good to get a thermometer. It'll help you monitor the temperature. 350 is a great temperature for frying fish. I'm just kinda going by uh, the seat of my pants because I can tell where the oil is by looking at it there when I turn the heat up. So once you get your fish in, as I can see, it's on the hot side. I'm just gonna adjust this and turn it down just a little bit. We're gonna be kind of on like a medium heat here. You can use peanut oil for a lot of stuff, but it's great for frying fish because of the high heat point. And this process happens really fast. I go everything based on color. So as you can see, everything's happening really quickly in here. We're getting a beautiful golden color on the fish. This doesn't take long to cook this fish like this. Just a few minutes per side, and I really just base everything on the color of the fish. So once I've got good color all around, I pull it off and I know it's done, and I'll let it rest for a few minutes before we make up our sandwiches. But yeah, peanut oil is a great, uh, great oil for frying fish in, or cooking in general, assuming you're not allergic to peanuts. This pan going so we can toast our Hawaiian rolls. I've already got it on. I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter to this pan. Let that start to melt in so we can get our buns toasted up. Get them in this cast iron with some butter. It's nice to have a rack like this for uh, anytime you fry fish. It allows the oil to drip off the fish completely and it allows the fish to cool evenly from underneath as well. Rather than setting it right onto a plate or a sheet pan, uh, you know, you'll end up continuing the cooking process on the fish, which is not always the most desirable thing. I'm gonna take one of our King's Hawaiian rolls here, get a little spoon, just get a nice little bit of sauce on each bun there. Take a nice big piece of fried mahi just like that. And a sliced tomato on top. And a couple of lettuce leaves on like that. And we'll take a couple thin slices of avocado. I like to use my spoon and just go right on the edge of the avocado like that. Two or three slices on there. Put your top on. 
crispy panko fried mahi-mahi slider with lettuce, tomato, avocado, and spicy mayo. Definite crowd pleaser, can't go wrong. <laughs>